Welcome to the show. I'm so happy to uh, to meet you. I'm a big fan. I listen to your stuff. You're fantastic. Thank you. I'm a huge fan of you, Jimmy. Oh, thank you. I, I mean, th I mean, call her daddy. This is the thing. Everyone is talking about this. Uh, your interview skills are fantastic. You get people to do stuff and get into stories that I'm like, how did she get people to do that? Time 100 Next just named you on their list in the top 100 right there. So congratulations on that. How does it all... Uh, How's, how's it all feeling? It, it feels surreal. Like, I still feel like the girl from Pennsylvania, like, that's awkward with my braces in the basement, just, like, trying to make it. Yeah. It's very surreal, but I'm just so happy that it's happening, and it's, it's happening. Your, your, uh... <laughs> your bigger news is that you got engaged this year. I uh, did. Congratulations on this. <laughs> but wait till you hear this. The proposal was pretty elaborate, and I kind of... I can't even believe that this is a real thing, but... Dreams come true. This is this is what I wish I did. But please walk us through what he did. Okay. Well, just to like set the ground here, yeah. I was the girl that never thought she was going to get married. Like I had no interest. I never had the Pinterest board. I don't even. I still don't even know what my dress will be. Like there is no vision, Jimmy. Okay. Yeah. So we're starting with nothing. No Pinterest <laughs> yes, board. Yes, there is nothing. Okay. <laughs> so I remember, and I think it was because I was nervous that it threatened my independence as a woman, and so yeah. that changed obviously when I met Matt. And from the very beginning of our relationship, I'm like, we are never getting married. We are life partners, okay? And he's like, okay, oh my God, you're wacky. <laughs> and then I will never forget, I sat him down at a dinner at Giorgio Baldi in LA, and I was like, Matt, I have something to tell you something. And he's like, what? And I'm like, you can do it. And he's like, I, I can do what? And I'm like, you can propose, we can get married. And he's like, he's elated, like he's so happy. And, and it was such a cute moment. And then a couple months later, he did it in the most romantic possible way. I mean, Matt produces YA films for a living. So this was, I felt like I was in a movie, okay? I got home, I walk in, and Adele is playing all throughout our house. Every square inch of my home has candles all over it. And there is a video of him that basically says, follow the scavenger hunt and you will come find me. And every room in our home, he had picture frames of themes. So the kitchen was filled with all picture frames of our first. The first trip that he said, I love you. The first time we went to Hawaii, the first time he met my parents, like it was so touching. And then at the end, once I went through the scavenger hunt, I saw him with our two dogs in tuxedos underneath this like gazebo and he got down on one knee and it was perfect. Oh my God. Now, are people upset with Matt? Oh, are people mad at Matt and go, hey, dude, calm it down a little bit? It was pretty, it was pretty crazy. I remember reading on Twitter and men were like, Matt, Matt, can we tone it down? Like, because girlfriends are like, oh, I'm showing my boyfriend this, Alex, being like, I expect nothing less. And I was like, <laughs> oh let's go. Yeah. Uh, uh, congratulations. Thank That's you. the way to do it. Thank That's you. awesome. Uh, I want to talk about your new tour, by the way, as well, because. You're going on this tour called the Unwell Tour, mm -hmm. and you're going to uh, put some bachelorette party vibes into this tour. But explain to me what this tour is so people know, fans of you will know. So what I will say is obviously because it's bachelorette themed and this is network television, Jimmy, uh -huh. I, can't, I can't go into too much detail. Uh -huh. But what I will say is I have never been live in person with my fans. I call them the Daddy Gang. Love you, shout out Daddy Gang. <laughs> And I, I always try to do things and like flip it on its head. Like, how can I reinvent something? How can I think of something different to give my audience? And when you think of a podcast tour, you think, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna sit for an hour and a half. We're gonna chat, we're gonna talk. Absolutely not, absolutely not. To give you a little taste, my lighting team came up to me and they said, Alex, we have worked on Broadway shows before, babe, okay? This show has more lighting cues than some Broadway shows. And I'm like, <laughs> let's go. So wow. it's, it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited. I'm really excited for my fans to see it. And I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous because I've never done something live. But it feels right. It feels right. Oh, that's great. I know you're coming, you're coming to the theater at the Garden, too, here in yeah, New York. You're going to come, right? I will totally yeah. be there. Are you kidding me? What are you kidding me? I'm, <laughs> Absolutely. What is it, five years now you're celebrating? Five years. Congratulations. Yeah, thank no? you. Really, thank you. well done. I. I love it. It's so good. Uh, do you hear from people? Do you, people come up to you and go, hey, you changed my life, or uh, thank you for doing that thing. I, I didn't think of it that way. Or What is the best, the best. compliment? I, I've got it for you. OK. One, of the, one time, I'm standing in CVS, and this girl comes up to me, and she's like, Alex, I have to tell you a story. And I'm like, OK, tell me the story. She's like, I had a man come up to me, and he was like, I hate Alex Cooper. And she's like, what? What do you mean? Why do you hate Alex Cooper? And he's like, she is making women 
way too confident. And I'm like, oh my God, I can retire now. Like, it's such a cool moment to realize that women actually come to my show and can feel better about themselves. I've had women stop me in the street and be like, I got out of an abusive relationship because of the show. I went in and advocated for myself and got that raise I wanted. Like, it's a community that has been built with a bunch of women that are like-minded and I'm so proud of it. And it's just gonna keep going. Yeah. I think it's awesome that you're doing that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, people, uh, today is Halloween and people are dressing up as you, by the way. Uh, I saw a lot online, they're being you for Halloween. Is that does that feel odd? It's it's a little odd, but what I will say is like I'm looking out for the girlies. Like if you're gonna dress up like me, obviously, if I was actually wearing what I wanted to be in right now, every single daddy gang knows I'd be in sweatpants and a hoodie and my messy bun, and that is what they're wearing. You just gotta throw on a sweatsuit and a messy bun, and you're like, I'm Alex Cooper. So. There you go. Right, so that's a good costume. There we go. But I also know your your dog, Henry, dresses up every year. He and Henry, does. No, I've heard, look at this cute dog. People recognize this dog. This is Cindy Lou Who right here, okay? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> stop it. He, he's so cute. And people actually, they, they come up to him on the street and be like, oh, you're Henry. They, they say, Alex oh my Cooper. God, Alex, I didn't notice you at first, I, but I saw Henry, and then I was like, oh, it's you. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. look for Henry. I'm like, okay. Yeah, well, I thought, uh, I was like, what's Henry gonna be this year for Halloween? <laughs> and, and you were gonna tell me and show a picture, but then you're gonna, Again, you're upping the game and doing something that's something different. You actually brought Henry here in person. Mm -hmm. I did. Can we bring him out? Can I go get him? Let's go get Henry. Henry! Hi, Bubba. Henry? Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> oh, my God. Come here. Henry. <laughs> hi, Bubba. Henry. Oh, hi, Henry. Are you? Oh, thank you. I don't have a treat yet, but hi, you're a nice burrito. Henry. Yeah, he's a little burrito. You guys, I may have put the costume on wrong, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Sit. It's OK. OK, no, Jimmy, I... he'll give you his paw. OK. If you ask for his paw, but he can only give his left one. So like, you know, oh, be easy. Oh, do it over this way, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit. All right, here we go. Sit. Sit. Paw. Good boy. Oh, no. oh my god. Henry, wait, do you want me to do it? Let me do it. Do you, here, yeah, give another one. You got it, you got it. I want to Henry, okay. uh, Henry, I want to. Henry, sit, paw, Henry, sit, ask for paw, paw first. Paw. Good baby. Oh, what a good boy. Happy Halloween. Happy good Halloween. Boy. Alice Cooper, new episodes of Call Her Daddy stream every Wednesday on Spotify. We'll be right back with a performance from Depeche Mode. Stick around. Are you on another one? Hey, hey.